Finally, a game which takes into account my secret love of dockside manual labor. Hi everyone, my name's James. This is Small Cargo, a game that's just come out a couple of days ago on the App Store. It is a very simple arcade style game where you push left or push right in order to guide your little fishy crate down, down, ever downwards uh, towards a spot at the bottom and land it in the right place like a parachuter aiming for a bullseye. Bosh, there we go, lovely. Uh, you collect cash as you go, as you get further and further downwards. You unlock little gifts, got a bit of cash here, very nice. Uh, and you can use it to unlock and upgrade different types of crane. Now, the thing that's letting this game down, because I actually like the gameplay, uh, it's very simple, of course, but these arcade-style super lo-fi games work really well on touchscreen when you just want to do something for, you know, a couple of minutes without thinking too much uh, or having to put everything else down and turn your phone into landscape mode and all that business. Oh, damn, I didn't think I got that. It handles all that stuff really nicely. The problem is the adverts. Here's an advert that's just popped up. I'm going to skip past it now because I hate watching them. The adverts come thick and fast, too fast and too thick for my liking. And it's always the same ones, and I really think it lets the gameplay experience down a bit. I am not saying for a second the game shouldn't show ads or shouldn't make money, because of course they should. The trick is getting the balance right so it doesn't become irritating or obnoxious. I would much rather not have them here and just pay 99 cents or whatever to play the game uninterrupted, but that's just me. I know that's not how the economy works anymore. And I do genuinely think it's a shame because the game underneath it, I like the fact that you have this play. So when I drag left or right, because it's being suspended by cables, there's this wobble that you can see here. And it really adds something to the gameplay because you're like, right, I've got to move left now. And there is a little bit of a delay. So you have to always anticipate in advance exactly what you need to do and where you should be going, especially to collect all these fishies as well. It makes me think of Wipeout, where you always have to steer a good way in advance before you get anywhere near the corner. Oh no, I didn't see that one coming, damn. Uh, in order to avoid crashing straight into corners, because it's a little bit Jedi in that way. You've always got to be thinking uh, several sort of feet ahead of you, if you like. I'm going to try and sneak this here. The other thing the game does is it lets you, if you keep scrolling all the way to the left, you'll actually emerge on the right side of the screen, which is a mechanic it sort of repeats twice at the beginning of the game uh, and does come into handy. Oh, damn, damn, that's really annoying. I got it caught in the wrong place. It does come in handy now and then. You won't have seen it, but I just skipped past yet another ad there. It's about every three turns or something. I would say give this a go just to see if you like the gameplay because I think there is something here in its simplistic, you know, fun, casual little way. Um, I just, oh, that's annoying, the dangling. I just wish that I could I could get past those adverts. I'm only a couple of bucks away from unlocking a new grabby arm thing, actually. Let me just do that. I want to do that before we go, because I do want to see what the new upgrades look like. I haven't touched that toxic bit yet, but I'm guessing it'll just kill me instantly. I don't think it'll create an interesting visual. It'll just go dead. Spikes are a pain. These ones are the real kickers we have to drag and again it's a there's a really nice like is it gonna make it i'm just i'm pushing oh i didn't quite make it uh and that's that's a lot of fun 192 oh go on just one more we've got the time you won't show me an advert will you go on be a sport I remember that the UFO game that Nintendo released where you're effectively playing a UFO with a grabber arm It feels a little bit in the same camp as that um, Part-time UFO, I think it was called that is a brilliant brilliant game premium game I might add um, which has got a similar feel in terms of the slightly elastic physics of a grabber arm And you try and make it do what you want it to do and sometimes it obeys and sometimes it's a little bit, a little bit, a little bit tricky and that's what I like. That's what I'm going for. So I really do think there is something here in just its simplicity. But uh, I also think it's been slightly let down by its payment model, which is a shame. One, yeah, 200. Yes, yes, 208. I'm going to now unlock a free thing and then see what grabber arm I can get. Just had to skip past yet another ad. Oh, that's my head in right up here. If I go to the right, here you go. $200 to unlock that or that or this. Let's try this. It looks magnetic. Magnetic? What do we think? Let's give it a try. Go. Does it grab the fish magnetically? How does it work? I'm not seeing... Oh, here we go. Emerge from the other side of the screen like a boss. I, I don't know. I, I can't see any difference. Can you? I don't know what I've just done. Is it just visual? Is that all it is? 
Oh well. No idea. Dead anyway. Okay, so this is the game. Small Cargo is the name. You can download it right now for free, App Store. Thank you for watching.